Good evening to wherever you may be. It's time now for Midnight Baseball. I'm Spencer Dodgers, your favorite baseball insider, going over the teams continuously, trying to tackle them in the month of February and March before it's too late, and the season starts, right? Pitchers and catchers reported over the last few days, and we can smell the grass we can almost hear the crack of the bat. We're pumped up because baseball season's starting, and today we're talking about the Toronto Blue Jays. Yes, the 2018 Toronto Blue Jays. How can they battle with the mighty Yankees and the division champion Red Sox? Both these teams are phenomenal powerhouses. What can the Toronto Blue Jays do to make the playoffs this year? Let's talk about it right now. All right. Going on with the starting lineup for the Toronto Blue Jays, if it was the start of the season tomorrow, we'd have Curtis Granderson in left field platooning with Steve Pierce. Center field is Kevin Pillar. I like Kevin Pillar in center field. Right field, the newly acquired Randall Grichich from the Cardinals. So kind of a different looking outfield with Granderson and Grichich. Let's see what happens. And a gold gloving Kevin Pillar in center field. Third base, we all know about the former MVP, Josh Donaldson. Shortstop, don't forget, Troy Tulowitzki. Yes, the Rocky, the big man is still on there. So Tulowitzki's at shortstop. A young scrappy guy I like a lot, Devin Travis. Had a breakout year about two years ago. Few nagging injuries. So Devin Travis is back at second base. And hey, the Mr. Smokester, Justin Smoke, had a great year last year. Finally broke out after being in Texas, being in Seattle. It was great to see Smoke break out. Russell Martin behind the plate, old trusty Canadian Russell Martin, and Kendrys Morales at DH. Okay, it's not a bad lineup. You know, there's a lot of power in this lineup. Health is always an issue. We don't want to talk about that too much, but there is potential for the Blue Jays to make a quick run, okay? Here's a starting rotation going on. Marcus Stroman, the stud, right-hander, electric, out of Duke, out of, uh, Duke University. Backed up by Aaron Sanchez, had injury plague season after a phenomenal rookie season. J.A. Happ is at number three. Number four, Marco Estrada. And number five, Joel Biagini, who I actually think could actually have a good year this year. He got hit hard last year, but he was making the transition from the bullpen to the starting rotation. And I like Biagini actually kind of coming this year in the rotation. So what can they do? They have one team in Canada, right? It's the Toronto Blue Jays. Pump them up. They're at the Rogers Center. Their payroll has to be massively big. Open up the payroll. Give the Blue Jays fans and the Canadians something to cheer for in baseball for more than one reason, and that's possibly if an expansion ever happens that maybe the Montreal Expos can come up there. So get that momentum going with Canadian, Canadian baseball, and how can you make them better? Go out and sign free agents. There's about 40 to 50 major league ready free agents. I think some of us have been following the fact that the free agent market has moved really slow this year. So act now, right? How would J.D. Martinez look in right, t right field and allow Grichich to be a backup player? What about Jake Arrieta in the rotation? Alex Cobb in the rotation? Somebody a lot cheaper. The versatile Eduardo Nunez. These are just a few guys that I've thought about that could really improve this ball club and give them a chance to battle with the Yankees and the Red Sox. I didn't mention the bullpen before because it's pretty much Roberto Osuna. That's it in the bullpen. A couple other guys I haven't heard much about. So maybe Greg Holland is the answer. Go out and give him a contract. I know the Blue Jays aren't known for giving big contracts, but the time is now. Josh Donaldson is a free agent next year. Tulo is only, can only stay healthy for so much longer. So go ahead and do it now, guys. Go out and get after it. Find out what's happening with the Blue Jays and see if you can win this year. And if you don't, be ready to trade Josh, Don Josh Donaldson because you can't let him go away and go into free agency and not get anything in return, okay? You gotta build up the farm. The farm, oh ho, you know who's coming up in the farm. Two sons of former MLB greats, right? Bo Bichette, the son of Dante Bichette, the power hitter from the Colorado Rockies, and also Vladimir Guerrero Jr., who we know who his dad was, right? A first ballot Hall of Famer. So get the Canadian fans excited in Toronto. I think they have a chance to sneak into the wild card if they make some more moves in the free agent market. There's a lot of teams. It's the Twins. It's the Brewers. 
the Cardinals, maybe the D-backs. All of these teams are hanging on the cusp of being wild card contenders. Winning the division will be tough. But if the Blue Jays make some moves right now and go get some free agents, back up the lineup, sure up the bullpen, maybe fill in some of the starting rotation, just about three pieces. I know I'm asking for a lot, but the Blue Jays have an awesome core. So that's the Blue Jays stories, guys. I don't know what to say about that. Go out and act now. You're the only team in Canada. You have a lot of supporters. I've seen the, the stadium fill up there. It's it, Just go do it. I mean, I know you guys have the payroll. It's funny you hear about this is the payroll or this is the budget for the actual team. But who owns the team? There's a bigger umbrella for the, for the Toronto Blue Jays. Open up that umbrella. Let the water, let the money pour in and spend it on this team. Okay? I'm doing my show. I'm about over. Thank you very much. Gratuity. Uh, what, am I, what am I looking to say here? Yes, thank you, right? That's it. To the midnight players, all my faithful watchers, my sponsor, racklife.org. To all the campaigns we still have going on. I'm excited to see that Chief Yahoo, the logo, is going to be removed from the hat in a few years. And eventually, hopefully, the name will change as well to the Cleveland Natives. But tonight's show is going to be dedicated to the one Mr. Tito Francona Sr. Yes, Terry Francona's dad passed away last night. He was a baseball great in the city of Cleveland. He's around the ballpark all these years. He's a really, I hope the Indians honor him this year. Maybe retire his number if they haven't already. I shouldn't know that probably, but... Mr. Francona Sr., this episode's for you. The Francona family, we're thinking about you. All best of wishes. Let's go. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Woo!